Hello everyone, my name is Shilaritya Sengupta. I am a theoretical physicist in the Department of Physics, Indian Institute of Technology, Rurki. I do research on mechanics of solid materials whose fundamental bending blocks are not arranged in any regular pattern. For example, this paperweight. I am going to offer a course on Newtonian mechanics with examples for the NPTEL platform under the Massively Online Open Source course MOOC. In this course, we shall start with some very basic mathematical uh, preliminaries of scalar vectors and tensors and then we will talk about the basic Newton's laws of motion, the laws of conservation of energy and momentum and we will consider several examples to analyze mechanics problems. So, these examples will be taken under for statics that is uh, where the objects are motionless and then we will talk about friction uh, problems with friction and we will take several examples of uh, problems that involves collisions and uh, let us say projectile motion and we will also talk about examples of translation and rotation of rigid bodies. So, the basic learning outcome from my side for this course is that uh, as a student you should be able to have a critical understanding of the fundamental concepts that are required for to solve mechanics problem and you should be able to have a particular way of thinking, a particular method for solving problems so that uh, any of you can get enough confidence to solve not only problems that are known to you but also mechanics problems that are unknown to you. So, how to attack any mechanics problems and solve it by using a systematic analysis strategy. So, this is the first goal for this course. The second learning objective is to give you several practical examples to, uh, which are very interesting so that you can learn something about nature and appreciate that the mechanics and physics are not a subject which is to be confined in textbooks, uh, idealized worlds of textbooks, but they also have various important and interesting practical application in our day to day life. So, the main USP of this course is to consider these facts through several examples. Now, when I designed this course, the ideal student that I had in mind are the first year students of uh, BSc uh, programs of physics, chemistry, mathematics, geology, biology, etc. and BTEC and B programs of various engineering disciplines such as mechanical, civil, geology, geophysical technology, engineering physics, biotechnology, etc. But I will be also happy if you are a, a senior student who wants to brush up their fundamental knowledge of mechanics or if you are a high school student which, who are curious to get a college level uh, physics uh, exposure. So, as I said that this is meant to be a first year undergraduate course a first course in mechanics. So, there is no prerequisite for this course, but I am going to assume that uh, you are familiar with high school level exposure to physical science and this mainly to avoid the typical problems that you have uh, seen in your high school uh, physical science or physics course. After taking this course uh, and I hope that it will give you enough training so that you can consider taking more advanced courses uh, such as classical mechanics which focuses on Lagrangian and Hamiltonian formulation or uh, more specialized course or uh, for engineering point of view such as mechanics of deformable bodies which talks about elasticity, plasticity and viscoelastic properties of material, fluid mechanics, fracture mechanics, biomechanics etc. Uh, this course will be mainly focused on non-relativistic aspect. So, one course you can think of taking after this course will can also be a course in theory of relativity. So, I hope 
that uh, you are going to enjoy the lectures and learn something interesting about nature after taking this course through the examples. Thank you.